Hi, and welcome to nine, two, three. What is the portion? The only one we have assigned for today is 49. This is only going to take a minute. We'll share the screen. And away we go. Do you remember percent, percent rulers in chapter three? You use them to find various portions of a whole. In this lesson, you're going to use percent rulers again, along with other strategies. This first question is actually super duper easy. Shirley won a shopping spree from Daisy's department store. She can spend up to $150 on anything in the store. During Daisy's deal days, the store marks down its prices and pays for all sales tax. Shirley would like to buy each of the items below in the table. She knows the original price. She wants to buy a lot of each item. Quiet! Uh, as well as the marked discount. So this is odd that the discounts are all over the place, but you have a scarf that costs $37 and the discount is 20%. So with your calc later, you are going to take the price, 37, and you're gonna multiply it by 0.2. Or if you're me, you're gonna screw that up. 37 times 0.2. And then whatever that equals is the money off. So you get, that was 20% off, $7.40 off. So you're going to take $337 and subtract $740. Just ignore that minus sign. I sort of did the quick way. $29.60 is how much it's going to cost. It's the sale price. So do that for all of these. You're going to multiply $56 times 0.15 and then subtract that from 56, multiply 30 by 0 0.05 for 5%, subtract that from your necklace, skirt, multiply by 0.25, and subtract that from skirt, sweater, multiply by 0.12. Now this third off, one third is 0.33 repeating, and the way you can figure that out if you don't remember it, is you say one divided by three, So multiply that by $21, and it's seven bucks off. 21 minus seven, I think, is, drum roll, 14 bucks for the shirt. So that is literally it for today's lesson. Thank you, and good night. Drop the mic.